So this is going to be my second video uh, today for um, some reviews on some of my new gear that I have not gotten around to showing y'all. This is my new hiking backpack, my uh, primary bag. This is the bag I use for virtually everything. Everything from going on overnight to going in the woods for just a hike, long hikes, um, some overnights, you know, in the woods. Um, in this backpack I've got pretty much everything I would need to survive a long time. Um, in this bag, I've got enough food to last me or to push me through a day, uh, usually. Um, even though right now I don't think I have that much food in here because I ate it. <laughs> I was out on a long hike and I got really hungry. But, um, in this backpack it's got some food, uh, a very, very well built fire kit, and, of course, it's got all my over the hump stuff. In other words, you know, um, enough stuff to push me over the first day or two, um, but it'll take you to start producing uh, stuff to sustain yourself while you um, either wait on rescue or plan a self-rescue plan. So, this bag I got from a birthday. Um, my girlfriend, she gave me some money because she didn't know what to give me. So, I bought this bag. This is the Condor Compact Assault Pack. Um, I had been looking at this bag for a long time. I was looking at getting an Ultacam one. But the multicam one was like eighty dollars. This one was like forty dollars. So, uh, which one seemed more reasonable to me? So, here it is: Condor Compact Assault Pack. I love this bag. It is compact. We'll start off with the exterior. These straps right here are adjustable up here and down here. It's got a sternum strap and waist straps. I love, I'm a huge fan of waist strips and sternum straps. They make a pack so many hundred times more comfortable. Okay? The only thing I don't like about actually wearing this backpack is when you put it on, one of these straps has a tendency to like to roll like this. And you gotta readjust that. Once you get down and you snap everything in, it's extremely comfortable. Okay, it's got a Velcro pocket right here. It's got a lot of Velcro in it. Now what this is meant for is for a water bladder. I think it can hold... I think it looks like a two or three liter uh, water bladder. Alright. It's got loops right here. Got another loop and then a loop down here. And then it's got some molly attached to those. Kind of like what's on the deployment bags. You know, it's got that on both sides. It's got this right here, which is a um, compression strap. And it's got a compression strap down here, and on the other side, and on the bottom. And then you've got a little bit of Vel uh, Velcro right here, I guess for putting a nameplate or uh, a whatnot. And then you got some more molly down here. And you've got a uh, D-loop on the end of your compression strap. Okay, it's got a small pocket right here, medium pocket right here. Um, so a semi-main compartment, I guess you can call it, and then you got your main main compartment. Okay, so in this top compartment right here, this is where I keep my fire kit. Now this isn't a, a run through of my gear. This is a run through of the bag. So. In here, you don't really have any kind of spacing availabilities. There is no really any kind of pockets or nothing you put anything in. It's just the pocket itself. Uh, you could put maybe a map, some uh, orienteering stuff, or you could do what I did, which is put a fire kit in there. And you've got this pocket right here. Now this pocket does have some attachments in it or places to put stuff. You've got a larger pocket right here, where my finger is. You've got three what looks like pen holder pockets right here. And then you've got a good little pocket right here to put stuff. Right. And 
your semi-main compartment. Unzip that all the way. Take a couple of the things out. All right, in here, there is a couple mesh pockets right here up front. One here and one here that you can put stuff in. And then behind that, you've got another very, a much larger compartment that you can put something in. As you can see here, um, it's got a lot, of, a lot of room in this pocket right here. A surprising amount. So, put this back in here. Put it back up. And then we go into the main compartment. Which, as you can see, it's quite roomy. You got this one large mesh pocket right here to put stuff. You get this large area right here in the bottom. Um, as you can see, it's housing my canteen, um, clean canteen steel water bottle. Y'all all know what that is, or at least I think y'all do, or most of y'all do. My seal puck knife, and then right here, kind of hidden from view, a secondary pocket. And in there, that's where I've got a single serving, seat. well not single serving, but single packet of Span. Very nice backpack. Very, very impressive to me for forty dollars. You got a little bit of mollet webbing right here. You've got basically just a single web that goes all the way underneath and all the way around to here. And I mean, it's just a very roomy, very um, customizable backpack. And with these loops right here on the other side, that's where I have my life straw. So it's a very comfortable backpack, very useful, has a lot of options. There's a lot of things you can do with this backpack. You can turn this into a medical bag, you can turn it into a get home bag, a bug out bag, um, you know, whatever you want to use it for. It, you can do a lot of things with this backpack and it's I especially like the fact that this is a good backpack but it's small I don't usually carry that much gear um, the reason there's so much in here right now is because it's hunting season and I've got a lot of hunting gear in here you know like binoculars animal calls um, you know that sort of thing but outside of that kind of thing I usually don't really carry that much gear I'm kind of a minimalist. I don't really like to use gear that much. Um, most of what I carry in here is just for emergencies. I very seldom use anything out of this backpack for anything. You know, I make and build everything. So, it's been a very good backpack to me. I've been uh, using it since October. And it's been very nice. Very, very nice. Um, Almost nothing bad to say about this backpack other than the fact that the shoulder straps like to roll. So that's going to conclude this. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really all I'm going to talk about this backpack. Very nice. Um, yeah, I, I can say very nice over and over and over again. I really like that bag. So, I will... Um, try to set up a day to output some more videos where I'm actually in the woods soon. Um, I might do some videos on my rain catch. Um, I'm definitely going to do another video on water purification. A, um, it's a very good method. It's not 100% effective like boiling. There really is no uh, method that's as effective as boiling, but it's a good method. And it doesn't involve a fire, so that's a major bonus. Um, I'm pro I'm gonna. I mean, I don't know. There's a couple different videos I want to do. I just need to get around to getting them done. Um, yeah. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, you can check out my Facebook channel, um, my website, and all that stuff. You know, I have it all. 
up there in that banner on my YouTube channel. It's a link to everything. So I'll see y'all in the next video, and y'all take care.